liquid death was created by Mark Cesaro in 2019. In mere months, it surged in popularity, primarily due to its catchy name and striking packaging. The allure for many was that beneath the vibrant label and audacious name lay wholesome pure water. The notion here is this, you're drinking plain water, but you're as cool as those who consume beer and healthy energy drinks. Liquid Death is available in nearly all stores, and it holds the top spa in sales on Amazon with a value of 70 million. Prominent figures such as comedian Whitney Cummings, rapper Wiz Khalifa, and the music band Swedish House Mafia invest and endorse it. Liquid Death is advertised at the Super Bowl, targeting children. The company employs quite haunting imagery for its advertisements, alongside disconcerting messages. Help keep the underworld beautiful. For us, for you, and even your kids when you all end up down here someday. <laughs> they then appear append with, don't take it too seriously. Don't be scared, it's just water. But is it? Around Halloween, Liquid Death invited a witch to curse several batches of their water. I ask you spirits, I offer this water for you to come into this world. When the cans are opened, you are released. The company's official statement asserts, simply consume the water and imbibe unholy spirits. And on their website, you can enter a contract to sell your soul. The purchasing agreement for a single everlasting human soul is what they call it. This document bears legal authority and assigns the eternal soul to the purchaser until the end of time, inclusive or of any afterlife. Name, date, signature. Is this something you'd want to sign? Even though Liquid Death regards their brand name as a joke and interprets death as symbolizing the death of plastic bottles, we perceive a grave danger, not just in the brand's name or its slogan, but for those who don't see any danger in the previous discussion. Proverbs says, the prudent see danger and take refuge, but the simple keep going and suffer for it. And there's Paul's question to the Corinthians, what harmony is there between light and darkness?